Hello. Huskies back again with more NHL 17. This time we are kicking off one of our two new GM modes. This one we will be playing as the Edmonton Oilers. Now the Edmonton Oilers are a very interesting team to say the least. Um, they have a brand new captain, they have a brand new arena, they have new jerseys. Basically just did a fresh redo of the whole team in an attempt to bring success to what was once a storied franchise dynasty, if you will, of the 80s. Um, the Oilers have been, I mean, they made the Stanley Cup in the 2006, when they lost to the Carolina Hurricanes, I believe. Uh, they probably would have won that cup if Dwayne Rolison hadn't gotten hurt. Um, but after that, up until... Well, the drafting of Connor McDavid, this team has been a mess between injury plagued, high picks, uh, a string of number ones that just haven't really panned out to where they should, um, a complete lack of defense, um, devotion to goaltenders that just didn't work. Um, so it, this is going to be an interesting time. They're on a very good pace. I'm going to turn off GM firing in owner mode. Because I don't really care for all the extra nonsense but yeah we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get into this I am going to change the before I forget change the injuries to 10 as I don't want to be changing my lines every two games but yeah this is just gonna be an introduction video we're not gonna do any simming or anything like that we are just going to Make sure to go over the team, get a good idea of um, the goals for the team, like where I think we should be, um, how I want to move forward. I'll also be looking for feedback, like do we, well let's, let's wait till we get to the roster. Um, but I know I don't do this often. Oh, I usually do this at the end of the video, but because this is a new series, if you want to go ahead and push the like button, that really helps me out. It shows me that people are excited for the new series. And also make sure to check out the San Jose Sharks GM mode that is also going on at the same time as this one. So I have two ongoing GM modes at the same time, one being a playoff hopeful, which is the Edmonton Oilers, and the other one being a perennial playoff team that will need a rebuild in the San Jose Sharks. So make sure to check both those out. But this one is going to be Edmonton. Let's get into the team and see what we are working with. I did not want to go to edit lines. Ignore you saw those. I wanted to go to contracts. Contracts, contracts, here we go. Now, the Edmonton Oilers in real life have had a great amount of success this season. But they've also had success from guys that necessarily won't have success in EA's formula. Um, but I'll get to them. But as you can see, Connor McDavid, 92 overall, medium franchise. Uh, this guy's a stud. He's amazing. He's a beast. He's everything you want in a 19-year-old. Uh, we just had Patrick Laine with Seattle for that entirety. Uh, Connor McDavid starts higher. He's got a higher ceiling. Um, but I've never seen him really take off in any of my playthroughs. Uh, I've seen him be a top 10 point guy, but never his line mates, so it'll be interesting to see. I need to put a line together to really take advantage of McDavid. Um, playing with him on the first line of Milan Lucic, he's a solid power forward. Like, I don't have any issue using Lucic. The only issue is he's 28, which is, it's on the bit of a high side. And he's also making $6 million. Now, as an 88 overall, that's not terrible. I want to see his point production before I really, um, make the move away from him. I would like to keep a power forward on that line with McDavid because he is a playmaker who's not going to score a lot because his shot's not the greatest yet. It'll get there. Um, second line center, Nugent Hopkins. First overall pick in 2011. Hasn't really panned out. He's also making a six. Um, I'm not thrilled about Nugent Hopkins. He's probably going to be one of the first guys I try to move personally. I just don't think he's turned out to do anything. Uh, Adam Larson's another guy that's, he's 23 years old, he's a two-way defender. 
He only makes 5, 4.1 is an 85. It's not bad. This team does not have any, like, top two, like, all-star defensemen. Um, they have a decent top four, but their bottom two are shit. And, honestly, their top four aren't the best. But they're not making any ungodly amounts of money. I mean, Sakara's making 5.5, which is a bit much. It's a bit much. Especially for a 30-year-old offensive defenseman who really won't put up many points. So we'll, we'll see how long he's here for. He's here for five years. Don't think that's he's going to stay. Um, playing on the right wing in the first line is Jordan Everly. He's a good sniper, and ideally I'd want him to play with McDavid, but he's not good enough. He's only an 85 overall. He's not good enough for that first line at all. Um, if we still had Taylor Hall, that would be the first line. McDavid would choose Taylor Hall. But we don't. They traded Taylor Hall for Adam Larson straight up, um, which I think was a, pff, just a shame. Uh, bad trade, bad overall. It's just, no. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl is somebody I'm excited about. I've seen him get very good in these. He's uh, 20 years old, medium elite. Uh, he'll be playing second line center. Most likely, is he second line forward now? He is. So I'll have him on the second line. Um, I don't know where he'll be, in, like on a wing or something. Because I'm going to try to move Nugent Hopkins pretty quickly. Um, his salary just doesn't work with his skill set. Uh, Oscar Kleffbaum, low elite defenseman, he can either get really good or he cannot move at all. It depends on, he's already 23, so he's probably not going to get much better. I would like to see him cap out at an 85, because an 85 at 4.6 is a really nice deal if we can, if he progresses, but he might not progress. Uh, Patrick Maroon, another power forward, this guy's having great success this year in real life, but he just doesn't, I don't think he translates, but he could be a good third liner, like I'm not going to really throw him under the bus yet. Benoit Puglia, third line sniper. Um, maybe, I don't know. Four million dollars though? No. Not for four million dollars. Three years left to four mil. We might have to, we're gonna have to shake up our bottom six. Uh, Darnell Nurse, low elite. Uh, he's an interesting defenseman. I've never seen him progress at all, but I've also never seen him get the chance. He's gonna be playing top four minutes at least year one. And I think year one we're gonna be a try to play a playoff team. But if we don't make the playoffs, I'm not overly concerned about it. Because um, I feel like the Oilers are a year ahead of their plan in real life. I expect them to limp into the playoffs, not almost win the division. Uh, Mark Letestu, good bottom six guy. He'll probably stick around. Um, be a fourth line center, maybe. Uh, this Nurse Griba pairing. I, I like Garrett Griba. I think he's a decent defenseman. Um, he's got really good defensive stats. Good physical defenseman, um, and he only makes 950k, which is also nice. Matt Hendricks, another, oh, he's a grinder, another bottom six guy that I'm not thrilled about, but again, in 1.8, that's just too much for an 81 overall, I feel. Uh, Zach Cassian's another guy that's doing really well in the uh, real life, but uh, this team has got an abundance of power forwards that I don't think we need. This uh, Brandon Davidson kid, medium top six, uh, he'll probably play where over Griba, but we'll see. And now we're starting to get into, these are just guys that are playing in the NHL roster that are basically healthy scratches. This Pitlick kid, he's not terrible, but I don't see him as a place on the NHL roster. Um, Slepishev, uh, Packerin, Peck, Peck, Packer, he's, he's, no, none of these guys are going to stay. Yeah, these, these are, they're not going to have a place here. Um, if I check out the in the system, Mark Fain. Mark Fain isn't terrible. He's he's pricey though. He's three point six. There's a reason he's in the minors. He got buried because of his cap. Uh, Jesse Puljarvi, Puljarvi, he's our big one. Medium elite potential. Um, he can play in the AHL already. He's a minor scoring forward. Uh, he's gonna put the entire year one in the AHL, and then we're gonna see how he progresses. And I'll bring him up uh, next season to possibly play top six minutes. He's a good two-way forward who's, who should have a good shot. Um, Taylor Becks, he's 25. He's probably not going to be anything. Andrew Ference is 37. He'll probably retire. His cap will be off the books. They do it regardless. Matt Benning, two-way defender, 22. Um, he's a decent defender prospect. He'll be playing top minutes down there. Griffin Reinhardt and Matt Benning are going to be my two AHL defensemen that I want to see if they can progress. Anton Lander's not going to get any better than a 77. Uh, Drake, I don't know. Kaguel, Kaguel. I'm just gonna call him Dracula, because why not? He's gonna be a first line. Um, he's probably gonna play with uh, Pulgarvi on that first line. 
I'll go play it. Well, they're both snipe. No, the other guy's a two-way forward, so we'll go play RV. Is Lander have good offensive warrior to see? That's decent. Um, but after that, it really falls off pretty hard. Um, Ethan Bear, I've seen get pretty good, so he's going to get a chance to progress. Now this guy, low top four defenseman. He might turn into something as well. He's still got two more years before I even think about signing him. Uh, Christian Caleb Jones. So they have some good defensive prospects that could possibly be something, but I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. Um, one thing I'm not sold on this team is goaltending. They have Cam Talbot and Lance. I don't know. I don't know why he's there. I'm assuming because Gustafson's hurt in real life. Um, I really don't want to call Gustafson up, and they don't have any goalies in the system at all. Uh, so I'm going to have to sign a goalie to be my backup. So I don't want to use Gustafson, and I don't want to trade for one. I have the cap space. I can afford to sign a goalie who's like an 80 overall. But Cam Talbot, 85 overall. Uh, he's not... We need to We need to upgrade. Absolutely need to upgrade. So maybe I'd trade Nugent Hopkins for a goalie. We'll see. But yeah, they need, they need some work. Um, as for my first offseason with this team, I don't have to sign anybody of note. Like, it's pretty it's pretty solidly just uh, dry side I'm going to have to resign, and I'm going to try to sign Chris Russell to a team-friendly deal, but we'll see. But the rest of these guys are bottom six. Like, I, I'm good on cap space until McDavid um, needs resigning, and that's two years. So I have two years of cheap McDavid, but I've also got three guys making six. Two of those guys probably won't be here. So I'll go to my lines and see, show you just what I want to improve on. I mentioned wanting to trade some players. I'm going to show you what I like, how I want to set my team up. I mean, I'm all for feedback. Let me know, like, what I should look for. Like I said, I want to win right away with this team, but I think we're a year ahead of schedule. Uh, next year, I want to make a playoff push. Year one's kind of just progression for some of my AHL guys. But what I want to do is I want to upgrade Jordan Everly to at least an 87 overall sniper. Not being him, obviously. But just trading for a sniper that's of a higher caliber. Um, same with Nugent Hopkins. I'd like to trade him just to give Dreisaitl a spot on that second forward line. Because um, Dreisaitl, I want to see him progress. And he needs to play on that second line. Whether I play him at center or not. I can play Matt Hendricks at center. And I can move uh, Patrick Maroon. Actually, you know what? I might hold on to Nugent Hopkins for year one. And just move Dreisaitl up here. And go Pouillat, Nugent Hopkins, Dreisaitl, and my third line can be Hendricks, Maroon, and Cassian. God, my fourth line sucks. I kind of want to keep Pitlick here. I mean, he's not the best. Mark Lutes, too. I would obviously need to upgrade my fourth line, but I'm not... Like I said, year one is just kind of a progression year. Um, I want Larson playing first line minutes. Same with Clefbaum. And I want Nurse playing the second pair of minutes, just just to give my team a chance. Because right now, this team is not built to win year one. Um, if we're a playoff team, that's great. If not, oh well. I'm not really. That's pretty much how I'm, my goals are. How much does Cassian make? 1.5. That's not terrible. He's not an awful. The only issue is this team's going to take a bunch of penalty minutes. Just look at the discipline. 65, 60, 70, 65. Like, this, it's only downside to power forwards and grinders is they have no discipline. Luckily, we don't have any big, like, hulking defensemen that are going to take penalties. Uh, Eric Graben might, but Eric Graben might also not be playing. I might decide to do Davidson instead. I'm actually going to make that change now, because Davidson's got more than enough defense to make up for... Griba. and Davidson could possibly progress into something. I mean, he's 25, but even if he gets like an 82 or 83, he's making 1.4. Might as well use him. And as for goaltenders, uh, I need to go to the free agent market and find a goalie. Just a backup goalie for this season, because a 72 overall is not what I want to see. So to recap, the goals I want are an 87 overall sniper, possibly swap out at that second line center. I would still like a playmaker. Um, 
The only reason I'm hovering Alexander Semen is because every time I do one of these GM modes, oh, this is another guy I want to sign. Uh, Alexei Celera, Sal, Side, I, I have no idea how to say his name. But he's one of those guys that starts off as a 57, but if you play him in your AHL system, he absolutely um, progresses. And he progresses well. Like, I've seen him get to an 85 or so pretty quickly. Um, just grabbing some players that might help me out going forward. Um, this Reed Boucher. No, I'm content with that. Uh, I'm going to try to sign right into goalie. None of these are going to be more than one-year deals. Only one-year deals so that they don't hurt my cap space for next season. Uh, let's sign Ray Murray. Just as a backup. I'm actually going to sign Alexander Semen because I want him playing on that second line with Nugent Hopkins and um, Leon Dreisaitl because he scores at an immense pace. And I just want them to be able to um, put up points so they progress. And like I said, nothing's more than... Oh, I hit. I don't want to do that. Go back. How's a 75 overall do to fucking leader in the locker room? Just means he can't go. I can't sit him down. Alright, so I just want to... Just want. Oh, I just want to advance the day. Come on. I wasn't going to do any simming, but it is only a preseason. And I want to get these guys in the lineup to show you what my ideas are. And stay... Oh, my roster's full. Shit. My ro really? My roster's full? Fuck. Alright, well then... Um... Oh, hi. Right, welcome to the first video where we make some trades. I could trade a couple of these guys, just like kind of offshoot them. Oops. I said I'm only making these trades so I can have roster space. So let's see if we can trade Fane and Ference to a team. I doubt we both, anybody wants Ference, so I'm just going to take Ference off there. Um, and I only want to trade to Fane for something stupid, like an unsigned rookie or a draft pick. Like, I'm not... Give me a... Give me Florida. Give me your 7th round pick, Florida, for Mark Fane. Uh, considering any of this offer... Considering the need, we don't think it's going to stick on the salary of Mark Fane. So if I make this trade, I would have to eat salary. Alright, so that's, that's fine. Just trade some shitty each other. So. Does anybody want these players? I doubt it. Just want teams that have roster space. Washington. Had they have roster space and they want to give away players and or yeah, give me this kid. God damn it, man. God, I don't know who was just in the bathroom, but they just used a fuck ton of hairspray. Holy shit. I don't have invalid roster. Oh, that's probably just my HL team. Yeah, okay, fine. Just fucking best lines it. I don't care right now. I gotta make another trade. Gotta trade the goalie. Try to trade Gustafson just to see if anybody wants him. Oh, Chicago wants him. Yeah, buddy. Give me a sixth. A sixth for Jonas Gustafson. Hey. Uh, best roster. Alright, so now I will go back to free agency and sign those players I wanted. I should have the room for them. Seven. You still. So we'll give an offer to you. Alright, so I hadn't anticipated making any moves in the first video, but that was just some roster cleanup that I wanted to make. Damn. Okay. Really? 
guess I kind of should have expected that. We're not exactly a win now team. At least not by EA standards. Alright, so I got those two. I still want to sign Summon, so I'll offer him 3 million. I said only a one year deal. Not really. The other two guys I signed are. So we'll give him. We'll overpay him. Like I said, I don't have any interest in him staying on the team. So this is just to help give that second line a score, because I don't think uh, Ben Pouliot is that scorer. I'm not necessarily throwing away year one. Come on. I swear to God, Simon, if you don't sign, I'm going to be a little upset. Alright, there we go. So let's see. So if I... Is he on the team? He's not, so I have to call him up. Okay, master moves. In the system. Just summon. I'll send down this kid. And in a way, this helps my... I could even put him on the first line to play with McDavid and Lucic. I'm gonna do that and see how that goes. And we're gonna play Dry Slidal with Edgar Lee and Nugent Hopkins. And while Pouliot played wing with Maroon and Hendricks, with Hendricks playing center, not Maroon. Alright. Good enough. Then I wanna get my. Okay, that's good. And then goaltenders. Right, I have to call him, uh, Ray Emery. Call up Ray Emery, get him in the lineup, and we'll call it a video. And we will kick off the sim in the next video, and we'll, we'll see how we go. Like I said, I'll be happy if we're a playoff team, but I'm not going to be upset if we aren't. Like I said, this team needs some work. So we'll, we'll get the job done, though. This is what we're going to roll with for the start, though. As always, make sure to leave uh, your suggestions on what you think I should look to improve. Uh, what, how would you go about starting year one with this team? I think I have a solid plan in place, and I know what I want to do. It's just a matter of finding the right pieces. Um... Pretty sure a goaltender is going to have to be number one, obviously. But worry about that. And also, before I go, um, I have edited a lot of goaltenders that are young and upcoming, so that this game actually progresses them. Unlike in previous GM modes I've done, where there are no goalies at the end of the GM mode. But yeah, as always, leave a like if you enjoyed. We're getting we're getting a new series started here. Uh, make sure to check out the San Jose Sharks one that also started today. As always, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you throughout the